Hi, this is Dr. Scott Plevy in the Inflammatory Bowel Disease Center at the University of North Carolina School of Medicine in Chapel Hill. It's my pleasure today to tell you a little bit about our paper that's appearing in gastroenterology entitled Carbon Monoxide and Hemoxygenase 1 Prevent Intestinal Inflammation in Mice by Promoting Bacterial Clearance. My laboratory got involved in this line of research several years ago based on a very important clinical observation in human ulcerative colitis that cigarette smoking is protective. Despite the fact that cigarette smoke comprises over 4,000 known ingredients, virtually all of the research prior to ours has focused on one compound, that being nicotine, and in fact, Clinical trials of nicotine gum, nicotine patches, and nicotine enemas have been inconclusive in, hum in the human disease, prompting us to look for other ingredients of cigarette smoke that may have immunomodulatory effects. The compound that we've been interested in for many years now has been carbon monoxide, and this is based on the large literature showing that carbon monoxide is actually protective against many acute forms of inflammation like surgical trauma and sepsis. In 2005, we published a paper in the Journal of Experimental Medicine showing that carbon monoxide administration at low levels to IL-10 deficient mice that develop spontaneous colitis actually ameliorates active colitis in these mice, and we show that it does this through several immunologic mechanisms that affect innate immune responses. Subsequently, we published another paper in the Journal of Immunology in 2011 showing that carbon monoxide is effective in another mouse model of uh, uh, experimental colitis, T-cell receptor alpha deficient mice, uh, where it also ameliorated active colitis and worked through different mechanisms that affect the innate, innate immune system. The common theme in these two studies were that carbon monoxide seemed to work through an enzyme known as hemoxygenase 1, which is actually responsible for the endogenous production of carbon monoxide as a byproduct of heme metabolism. Hemoxygenase 1 is expressed in cells of the innate immune system, including macrophages, and that's been the focus of our studies. From our two papers, uh, we became convinced that co the carbon monoxide hemoxygenase 1 axis has an important role in maintaining intestinal homeostasis. And the purpose of our new study was to understand better the regulation and function of hemoxygenase 1 induced through carbon monoxide in the intestinal tract. The first experiment we did was to understand the role of the enteric microbiota in inducing hemoxygenase 1. What we did in this experiment is we took germ-free wild-type mice and germ-free IL-10 deficient mice that are predisposed to developing colitis, colonized them with an enteric microbiota, and looked for hemoxygenase 1 induction in the gut. When wild-type mice were colonized with the enteric microbiota, we saw strong induction of hemoxygenase 1 in the intestines. However, when colitis-prone, germ-free, IL-10 deficient mice were colonized by the enteric microbiota, we saw no induction of hemoxygenase 1. And this suggested to us that hemoxygenase 1 may be very important in preventing the development of colitis because there was an inverse correlation in IL-10 deficient mice between hemoxygenase 1 and colitis development. To test this hypothesis, we utilized a pharmacologic inducer of hemoxygenase 1, which is a protoporphyrin derivative. We took germ-free IL-10 deficient mice, and while they were in the germ-free state, gave them a protoporphyrin to induce hemoxygenase 1 in the intestine and then gave them back the enteric microbiota. And in this experimental system, we actually showed that HO1 induction in the intestine prevented the development of colitis or at least slowed the development of colitis in this model. Well, it was looking to us that this is a very important homeostatic pathway in mice, and <clears throat> to further substantiate its importance, we wanted to see whether hemoxygenase induction 
is evolutionarily conserved amongst vertebrate species. And we were able to utilize germ-free zebrafish for this experiment. And we performed the same thing in germ-free zebrafish that we did in mice. We took germ-free zebrafish, colonized them with an enteric microbiota, and looked at heme oxygenase 1 induction, and in fact showed that it was induced in zebrafish as well. So this pathway appears to be important in maintaining homeostasis against the enteric microbiota and is conserved amongst vertebrate species. We next want to understand more about the mechanisms behind the protective effect of hemoxygenase 1 in preventing colitis and maintaining intestinal homeostasis. To do this, we utilize both IL-10 deficient colitis prone mice as well as a model of an enteric infection with salmonella in wild type mice. What we learned from these experiments is that hemoxygenase 1 expression in the intestine promotes bacterial clearance when bacteria breach the intestinal epithelial barrier. We then did some studies in macrophages showing that hemoxygenase 1 expression and carbon monoxide actually enhan enhance bacterial killing and lead to increased uh, phagolysosome acidification, which is one of the mechanisms through which cells of the innate immune system, such as mac macrophages, enhance bacterial uh, clearing. So, what are the implications of this study? We believe that carbon monoxide through induction of hemoxygenase 1 represents a potentially important therapeutic pathway to maintain homeostasis and to ameliorate, ameliorate inflammation in diseases such as ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease. These effects may underlie the protective effect of cigarette smoking and ulcerative colitis as well. Well, in thinking about therapies of inflammatory bowel disease, carbon monoxide itself actually has a, uh, a very tenuous uh, therapeutic toxic window. So we've been interested in downstream pathways, and it appears to us that hemoxygenase 1 induction in the gut may be an important therapeutic strategy for uh, treating inflammatory bowel disease in the future. And future, um, uh, future work you'll see coming from our laboratory We'll look at pharmacologic ways of inducing hemoxygenase in one in the gut or inducing it through changing the enteric microbiota that hopefully one of these days we could see in the clinic. Thank you for your attention and I'm happy uh, to be able to present our research to you today.